But first at six, we have breaking news and gas service is being shut down for an entire Dunwoody apartment after an explosion at that complex. And just in, Atlanta gas light officials said that they have identified appliance and fuel line issues within the buildings. The explosion destroyed dozens of units. The explosion happened yesterday at the Arrive Apartments off of Asbury Square in Dunwoody. CBS 46 anchor Tracy Hutchins leads our team coverage tonight. You're live at the apartment complex, Tracy, and the images, they are devastating. Oh, absolutely, Sean and Rick. So surprising that not more people were hurt. Here's what we know right now. Four people were injured in yesterday's massive explosion here at the Arrive Perimeter Apartments. Two people are still in the hospital recovering, one of them with a broken leg. Structural engineers on site today to check out the status of that building to see which units are still able to be accessed, which ones should be demolished and torn down. 25 units in all were directly impacted by that blast. Yesterday afternoon, some residents, just some, are being allowed back into the building today. Now, we do have team coverage of this event. Let's head out to CBS 46's Yasmina Alston, who has the very latest on the investigation. And Yasmina, Atlanta Gaslight crews have been on the scene all day. Yeah, Tracy, good afternoon. That's exactly right. We've seen several crews working here at the complex throughout the day. DeKalb County Fire Department, of course, the gas company as well. And as it was mentioned earlier, Atlanta Gaslight is now saying that they've identified appliance and fuel line issues in the buildings. So now they're shutting off the gas to all of the units in the complex as this investigation continues. So this would be an explosion at 2000 Asbury Square. As first responders rushed to the Arrive Apartments on Sunday, people living at this Dunwoody complex ran away to safety. Many snapping these scary images and videos showing debris everywhere. The building unrecognizable. I saw the whole building just collapse. It, it sounded like an explosion. Now a lengthy investigation is underway into what caused an explosion that injured four people, one person with significant burns and another with a broken leg. Officials say it was a suspected gas leak, but we won't know for sure until the investigation is done. We're also learning that Atlanta Gaslight was already en route to the complex when the explosion happened. Sunday, someone made a call to them about a gas odor. Many residents say this isn't a first. And we had problems with our gas before, and we told the, um, the, the company before and they came out. So I don't know if it's the same issue. As of Monday, dozens of people won't be able to return home for a while. Fire officials are waiting on the okay from structural engineers before even they enter the buildings to work. And this is something that doesn't happen often. Um, so again, with our department, we're taking it very slow and uh, very meticulous with our, our steps here to make sure that we don't miss anything. And right now there is no timeline for when that investigation will be done. It could be days, it could be weeks, but as we're seeing new updates continue to come out about the investigation. Tracy.